I'll just get a quick thought on Florida State, Florida, because I'm sure some people may want to hear that. I mean, it's not the biggest game of the weekend, but it is huge for Florida State. I just put a note for you guys in the chat. I I think, you know, as far as quarterbacks go, both backups, like don't forget Max Brown is playing in place of Graham Mertz. I would expect both, and I was mostly a backup throughout my career in the NFL, and I'll never forget Steve DeBerg told me this as a rookie because I was backing up Dave Brown, and I had gotten in some games. And he let, he would spend extra time just with me going over blitz pickup. Like that's all we worked on. Cause he's like, when you are a backup, they're going to test you early and often. He's like, and if you respond, if you make them pay, or even if you just don't get sacked and it's a first down throw or you extend a drive, they'll stop. Like they'll let, Oh, he gets it. He know, like we, we have to be more cautious, but if you don't, they'll keep bringing pressure. So like both of these quarterbacks have to be dialed in with their blitz pickup packages. Like what protections am I solid where am I hot? Where am I vulnerable? Where is my quick throw? Where do I need to get rid of the football? And whichever one handles that better will be more equipped to have success in this game. And just an afterthought too, I do think Tate Rodemaker has so much, he has such a better supporting cast around him of weapons on the exterior. And I do think like you got Johnny Wilson, Keon Coleman on the outside, got Jaheim Bell, like there's a full complement of characters. But I do think the best thing that Norvell could do is make this a Trey Benson game. Like let's it's like physicality. Let's get the run game going. Let's take some of the pressure off so that you're in better third down situations because there's a tendency for a younger quarterback, third and 10, third and 11, to feel like I got to convert this. When I think Jordan Travis would be more comfortable taking a sack, getting five yards, let's punt it away. There's always that tendency. I got to get this first. And so you got to keep them out. Both of these quarterbacks, you have to keep them out of those third and long situations. Awesome. All right, DK. Happy birthday. Right, I got you. See you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Four or five. Yeah. It's a big one. <laughs> Point shaving Danny. Trying to <laughs> shave numbers off. <laughs> See ya. Later. Um, all right, bud. I thought I was in a – let's stay with this game, by the way, since, right. since we're here. Um, I honestly thought I was in a fever dream because – I saw Missouri's last drive Saturday night live, and we talked about it on the instant reaction show. I did not see the full game and sort of piece it all together until um, Sunday into Monday. I thought I was in a fever dream when I saw that Max Brown was the quarterback. Cause you know what I thought USC and Pitt quarterback, Max Brown, Max Brown. Oh, with an yeah. e. I thought we were going to be, I was like, Max Brown still got eligibility, but no, it's not Max Brown. Um, with an E Max Brown, no E is a, uh, three star, former three star prospect out of Tulsa. So what do we know about Max Brown? What was your evaluation of him? So I, I thought he operated the offense for the Gators pretty well. Um, he looks more athletic, uh, than Mertz, uh, look, he, he you know, ran around pretty well, made a couple throws. I, I think we'll see like a lot of Florida zone run game and probably some boot action off it. Uh, I, I think I like Florida's uh, outside receivers a little bit better than Danny. I mean, I, I think Pearsall and Wilson are are really nice players. After that, certainly there's there's a drop off. I don't know that Florida has, you know, three or four pass catching weapons who, who you love. I think both their backs are really good, Johnson and uh, and Etienne. I I would expect Florida to try to play a slower tempo game here. I, I don't think they want to expose their defense to a, a lot of, of tempo there. Um, but I I think Florida will probably have some success on offense. If their offensive tackles play mm. to me, that's the handicap in this ball game, because if you don't have Barber and you don't have George, let's refer to our preseason notes. We weren't real high on George anyway, but we knew that Florida took him because their, uh, you know, their, their offensive line depth w- was rather poor. And one place where we know FSU is good is at defensive end. Jared verse is you know, a really good player and especially against the run too this year. Uh, and Pat Payton, has improved a whole lot. I mean, he's rookie of the year last year in ACC, and, and he's followed it up with a, you know, with a strong season. So, um, to me, that's kind of what it comes down to. Teams don't carry like three or four good offensive tackles unless your name's like Georgia. So, if it's no Barber and no George, I'm a little bit concerned for Florida's ability to block. Now, FSU's also been banged up. Obviously, uh, Renardo Green was in a sling. Deloach the same. So, you know, we'll see. Like those are impact guys for you on defense who you may not have. Uh, but we'll we'll see how it goes. FSU has faced like seven straight backup quarterbacks, and so this will be eight. Um, 
they have done a pretty good job of shutting down backups this year, but Florida has better personnel than almost everybody they've faced with the exception of LSU, I think. Um, although Miami's offensive line clearly better than, you know, Gators line with a bunch of backups. Yeah. We, On the flip uh, side, oh, sorry, all this, I was going to say, we spent all this time talking about who the next TCU is going to be. Um, it's not a Cinderella. It's a program with three national championships. Yeah, exactly. Dude. Um, on the flip side, like to me, Tate's a clear big downgrade from Jordan. Mm -hmm. I I don't think you'd be like looking at portal guys for quarterback if, if you if you thought like you had immense faith in Tate. But I do think that they have enough faith faith in Tate to where they think they can go score some points here. Florida's defense has been really inconsistent. I think you want to get those guys moving. Um, they have worn down in the second half of some of these games pretty hard. Uh, they don't have great D line depth, so. Yeah, we'll see how FSU's offensive line plays there, and we'll see how Tate plays. I, I would give Tate early play action shots. Like, establishing the run is cool, but like I, I want to avoid those third and tens. And I think if you hit explosive plays, you're okay with some punts. Just need to avoid the turnovers, right? Um, and that's that's probably their formula for winning. They do have a lot of weapons. Uh, man, Florida's defense, Denny's exactly right. They blitz a ton. They I don't know if they have the personnel or should do that, but you know, their pass rush with the down four has not been great. Mm -hmm. um, the one DN they have is really good, but the other the other side is is kind of lacking in their, you know, their interior guys are a little better against the run than they are the pass. So, you know, we'll see if you can get some, hit, hit some early play action shots and and how much tempo FSU is able to use. I, I think it's a, I mean, the line feels about right. You know, I, I don't know how you have like a, a bunch of faith in a backup quarterback to go into the swamp and blow them out. I mean, it's gonna be so sloppy. I'm I'm expecting so many penalties. I mean, yeah. it's just. The the kind of game that if you're Florida State is incredibly nervy, you know. But if you're Florida, all you're trying to do is play spoiler. I'm um, mm -hmm. special. Like, give, give, give me like yeah. over over point five special teams defensive touchdowns in this game. I mean, that's kind of the recipe for it, right? You have athletes and you have two backup quarterbacks. Yeah, lot lot of who's who's gonna who's gonna do less dumb. In Florida, yeah, right uh, on a Saturday night, it's Flor Thanksgiving it's, weekend. It's weird to ask this, but like, is Florida's head in this? I'm assuming they are. I think so. I think so too. But like, I don't know. There, there are some weird, just like, maybe that's just who they are as far as mental errors, you know. But like, running out of bounds on that last drive, doing the incomplete sign instead of going to tackle the guy on fourth and seventeen, like what? I don't know. Some some weird vibes. Last year's game. Last year's game. That's our. I mean, obviously, extremely small sample size. Last year's game should not have been as close as it was. Richardson was awesome. I mean, like, but it, like Florida, oh, the whole team looked like they were into it. You know, yeah. like they they went into Florida State as decidedly the worst team of the two, but yeah. were like, nah, man, we. Like we're here and very much dialed in. And that's my data point that I'm using to think that emotionally, mentally, they're gonna get fired up. I mean, it's you're you live How there. Do you not? What? Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, you live there. Yeah. The, everything it's to go to a bowl game, assuming that you want it, right? Everything that they say about the these in state rivalries where you know all the guys on the other roster and there's all this familiarity back and forth, you don't want to lose. You want to go out there and, and perform your best. You don't want to get embarrassed. Yeah. Come on. Families are watching. 